In this video, I want to show you some examples of converting between degrees and radians, and radians to degrees, OK? So the one conversion that you really must memorize is that 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. OK? That is the conversion that you must make sure you remember. And from that, you're able to work out any number of degrees as radians or any number of radians as degrees. So as an example, we've got these uh, gaps to fill in. So if I'm looking for 180 degrees, I know that that's half of 360, and so it would be half of the 2 pi. So 180 degrees is pi radians. Pi over 2, I'm dividing by 2, and so I'm dividing this by 2, so this would be 90 degrees. So 90 degrees represents pi over 2 radians. Pi over 4, I'm dividing by 2 again, so I'm finding a quarter of pi, so that would be 45 degrees. Now 120 degrees is actually 360 divided by 3. And so we would have 2 pi divided by 3. So 2 pi over 3. Now 60 degrees is half of that. So half of 2 pi over 3 is 1 pi over 3, or just pi over 3. Now 100, 100 degrees um, is not a direct factor of 360. Okay, so. What we're going to do is if we look at this 180 uh, is pi, so 180 degrees equals pi radians, then what I could do is I could uh, divide both sides by 18. That would get me 10 degrees is equal to pi over 18. Okay, And now I need 100 degrees, so I can multiply that by 10. So I get 10 pi over 18. And 10 pi over 18 is 5 pi over 9. So this would be 5 pi over 9. Now, 1 radian, that's what we need to find next. So if we look at the 360 is 2 pi radians again, if I just want 1 radian, then what's happened is I've divided 2 pi by 2 pi in order to get 1. So effectively, I'm dividing that side by 2 pi. So I must do exactly the same to the left-hand side. And so this would be 360 divided by 2 pi. So as an exact value, this is 180 over pi. OK. That's how many degrees it would be. But if I oh, should have had the calculator already. OK. If we check it on a calculator, 180 divided by pi, and that gets us 57.3 degrees to one decimal place. Now, this shouldn't be surprising, because when I introduced radians uh, in the previous video, what I how I described it, well, that wasn't particularly good. I'm just trying to draw a 60 degree angle. So I'll do a little bit better. OK, so it's almost like having a right angle triangle that was at 60 degrees. Oh, sorry, not right angle triangle, equilateral triangle that was at 60 degrees. And now what's happened is with all those sides being the same size, what's happened is that in order to make all of those the same size but to turn this into a sector, it's like sitting on the top of the triangle and it folds downwards. Okay, And subsequently, this length gets bowed outwards Okay, under the strain of being sat on, effectively, which shrinks that angle down to its 57.3 degrees. So it's almost 60 degrees, but not quite. OK, so this is to maintain that this is still R, that's still R, and that length is now R, that arc length. OK, 
and that makes the one radian. So 57.3 degrees makes sense. Now, in order to find one degree in radians, we can do a very similar trick to this. So if I want one degree, I would divide 360 by 360 in order to get one. So I must do exactly the same to the right-hand side. And so this would be written as 2 pi over 360. Or, dividing both top and bottom by 2, pi over 180. OK? So, if we work that out, that gets us 0.017 radians to um, three decimal places. OK? So it's actually 0.017 of a radian is one degree. Okay? And this is how we can convert between degrees and radians.